I know with a lot of the tariff talk and, and things like that, that some of the semiconductor industry really got taken down uh, with prices. Um, but sometimes you got to weather the storms with the volatility. Um, you know, one thing that I've, I've talked to people about, um, we talked about on the last show, is dollar cost averaging. Um, so if you believe in a company is, you know, maybe starting small and continuing to purchase shares well, you know, at a smaller amount. It doesn't yeah. mean you have to throw your whole nest egg all at once, but that's the company I was kind of looking into and, and have, have well, for mean, you today. It, it, you're, you're buying it, it, it appears to be at a good price today, and they pay a dividend as well. Yeah, we got a dividend of 1.65, which is great for a growth company. Um, yeah, you don't see that with growth To get companies. a dividend on a growth company is, is pretty rare. Um, at a 52-week low, $128.86. If someone wanted to be a little bit more diversified and not just buy one stock, a very popular semiconductor ETF to take a look at is called SMH. Oh, Okay. If you do pick a, uh, an ETF, you want to look at the stock holdings within that ETF to see the concentrated weight to that top performer. Yeah. So, for example, with SMH, the, the highest weighted stock is NVIDIA at 20.83%. I'm looking at Oof. it right now. So that, that's a pretty high yeah, and weighting it, it, it took on, a big on hit. one stock. Oh, it took a pretty big hit. So your SMH is going to take a pretty big hit when you're 20% weighted in one stock. And uh, Taiwan Semiconductor is uh, number two at 11.72%. Then I just read an article yesterday in, that NVIDIA now is in talks of partnering with DeepSeek of manufacturing chips, which DeepSeek is yeah. uh, the AI that came out from China saying, we don't need all these high-powered chips to develop AI but at the same time, it's it's kind of weird. If they don't need the powerful chips, then yeah. why would they be partnering anyway? So. Yeah, all these companies <laughs> would be investing yeah. billions of dollars that they weren't needed. If I was talking about Taiwan Semiconductors, I think they have a deal where they're going to be manufacturing chips in the United States. I think I I, I might have read that yeah, too. Yeah, I read well. that too. I'm pretty sure that's what. Well, I think I saw that on the news when Trump was having his conversations about tariff talks and what deals he's making. And I think they had some sort of commitment that they wanted to bring their manufacturing here in the United States. I have it in my portfolio, so I can't say no. 